One day, after teaching about love and kindness, he came to a man who had a terrible disease called leprosy. Because of his disease, the man was considered unclean. No one wanted to be around him. Plus, there were rules that he couldn't be touched. Worse, the man was dying. Please, Lord, please make me clean, he groaned. Jesus looked at the man with kindness and compassion. Yes, I will, he said. Be clean. Jesus touched the man, something which no one else would ever do. Immediately, the man's leprosy was gone. He was healed. Just a short while later, an important military officer rushed up to Jesus. He was breathless, sad, and excited all at the same time. Lord, he shouted, my servant is laying at home. He can't move. He's suffering. The centurion knew that there was only one hope for his servant. Jesus looked at the man with compassion and said, I'll come right away and heal him. Oh, but Jesus, I'm not even worthy to have you come to my house. All you have to do is say the word, and I know he will be healed. I too have authority. If I tell someone to do something or go somewhere, he does it. Jesus was amazed at the man's faith. Not many people believed him like this man did. This man wasn't an Israelite, but he believed God. Jesus told him to go home, that his servant was healed just as he asked for. At that very moment, the centurion's servant was healed. Right after this happened, Jesus went to Peter's house. Peter was one of Jesus' closest disciples. His mother-in-law was very sick. She had a terrible fever. She was dying. All Jesus did was reach out and touch her hand. Right away, her fever was gone. She was as strong and healthy as she had ever been. In an instant, she jumped up and started getting a meal ready for Jesus. Many times, demons possessed people and caused them to hurt themselves. One such account took place when Jesus set foot on the lake shore of the region of Gerasenes. There was a demon-possessed man that dwelt amongst the tombs. He was so violent and brutal that no chain could bind him. When Jesus climbed out of the boat, the man came running to him, and one of the evil spirits in him said, Why are you bothering us, Jesus, Son of God? Don't torment us! Jesus then proceeded to ask the demon what its name was, and it said its name was Legion. There were many demons in this man. The demons pleaded for Jesus to let them go into a nearby herd of pigs, and Jesus drove them out. Immediately, the man was healed. The pigs went into a rage and ran off a nearby cliff and drowned in the lake. The pig herders saw this and were amazed. After telling the townspeople about it, they all came out to see. Even though they saw the healed man, they still asked Jesus to leave. Jesus had complete authority over everything. Death, sickness, and even sin. Nothing could stand against him.